Okay, Derek, where should we go now? Let's first get rid of this marker. I'll use the eraser tool this time rather than the key, key command. Rub it out. Remember, I'm going to give you a list, a printable list, which you can download and print with all these key commands at the end of this chapter, so don't worry about that too much because there's quite a few of them I'm going to show you over this chapter. I'll close this marker track. Just drag so the cycle range is covering bars 1 to 5 and I'll turn that cycle off and then close my global tracks completely. Right, now, what should we look at now? I think let's have a look at the track headers because um, there's a few bits and bobs to do with that. Now, remember we've assigned the right click to our selecting a tool and therefore the shortcut menus are now achieved by holding down control and left clicking right so we hold down control and left click on a track header and choose configure track header and this list appears I showed you this earlier now of course you can I can't do it now because this list has dropped down but I'll show, um, you can drag these out to be wider um, these are the possible buttons you can have by default you get solo mute and record ready and input monitoring which only shows on audio tracks all right um, but you can bring in these additional ones um, so it's probably a good idea if you've got a lower power mac bring in the freeze so you can instantly freeze tracks um, and definitely bring in the protect button okay so i'll bring in these two and i'll also tick track colors bar track color bars sorry which introduces this colored line in front of each track now let's just do that and click done and I'll now create a track by I can do it here track new or use the key command alt command n or I could use this plus button here to create a new track or this button is create a new track with a duplicate setting but we'll come to that in a bit so I'll use this button for now, for example, or I'll use the key command. Um, so yeah, I'll use the key command actually. Just close that again. So Alt Command N, the new track dialog appears, and I'll create an audio track. There we are. Create, and you can see the input monitor button is there. Whoop! Bit of feedback from the mic. Hey. Okay, so we've now configured the track headers to have these buttons. And the most important of those is the track lock, this one, track protect. Click that and look, instantly your record button disappears. Okay, and now if I try and move something on that track, this track is protected and cannot be changed. So when you finish recording a track, keep it safe by locking that track down. Righty, that's, um, that's something. And um, of course you can freeze a track anytime if you're running out of resources. Now the other thing I want to show you is um, you can drag these out or narrower like that and um, now I'm going to look at one bit that's a bit complicated we're going to again hold down control and left click on a track header choose the configure track header there we are now this bit names because what you've got by default is you've got this one name here and you'll notice that where I've installed this um, audio instrument it's showing the name of the audio instrument EVP88 electric piano instrument 1 and this just says audio 1 so this is set to auto name I can change that to track name and then it simply says that this is instrument 1 and this is audio 1 but I can tick to bring in the second name column and look a new name column appears and I can drag the divider around I should be able to anyway bloody thing see this another bug or oh, perhaps I can't do it because this is open hang on yeah that's it sorry I beg your pardon right okay so control left click bring up that configure track header menu again now what's handy about this is you can see you can you've got two name columns now auto name uh, probably don't leave it on that I think put it on either software instrument setting name or channel strip name now look if I put it on channel strip 
setting name or track name it's the same look for track name but if I put channel strip setting name it's showing EVP88 electric piano and if I open the inspector column with the I key which I again won't be able to do because this bloody thing's down um, all right I'll close it open the inspector column with the I key and look this selected track it, which is an audio instrument track and there you have instrument one telling you that is audio instrument one track and it's been assigned to the EVP88 electric piano if I open that EVP88 electric piano at the moment it's on a default it hasn't been assigned to a preset but if I assign that to bright suitcase and close it okay close the inspector column and now again configure that track header control left click configure track header now watch this channel strip it's showing you the instrument assigned as well as the fact that it's an instrument track I'll change it to software instrument setting name and it now shows bright suitcase so I know this is the instrument one and it's on the bright suitcase setting we close that now as far as audio tracks are concerned if I open the inspector column this is a basic raw audio track but I open the library by doing alt L to open the media column on the right with the library selected you'll notice that it's defaulted to show these selectable presets and these are audio track presets to assign a channel strip default you know you've got all these different channel strips you see um, so I could choose voice male voice male creamy lead vocal and it puts in an EQ, a compressor, a stereo delay and an ensemble insert um, to create the overall channel strip to give you male creamy lead vocal okay let me do uh, alt L to close up library um, so now if we look at these two tracks this is the EVP88 electric piano assigned to bright suitcase and this is the audio track assigned to male creamy vocal so I've closed the inspector column. Uh, when I say assigned to male creamy vocal, I mean it's it's had that channel strip preset assigned to it. Okay. <clears throat> so now control left click on a track header, configure track header. Now look at this, look, software instrument name, to put it back to channel strip setting name. And now it says male creamy lead vocal EVP88 electric piano. Do you see that? So you can use this second column so that you're not I, I, find, I find that a very good thing to do because you've always got the in this column showing you the instrument or the actual track name that's an instrument track and it's instrument one that's an audio track and it's audio one and that is what is assigned to that track and you can change that to be the software instrument setting in which case this simply shows audio one because it's an audio track or what channel strip setting name or channel strip name you could do that but that's not going to really help much so I tend to leave this on channel strip setting name and that way it identifies what's on the track but also clearly shows me what type of track it is okay so that's um, configuring your track header and notice the color in front of this one is blue and that's green because we had track color bars selected okay there you go so that's configuring your track headers Oh yeah, one last little thing. Um, look, we put we switched on in the track headers these colour bars in front of each track. Okay, so look, if I hold down Alt and press C and bring up my colour menu, for example, if I change this track now so that this little colour bar in front of it is, for example, red, and then close it, and then choose the pencil tool. Every time I draw in a region, it will default to be the colour that's been assigned to that track. Okay. So there you go, track headers.